Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour something with these chameleon pigments from Let's Resin and I've chosen the color blue. So I got these from Let's Resin for free, so I'm testing them and yeah, I just thought I repeat a similar pour like I've already done over a year ago and it's my video 200 86. I will link it into the description box and I just thought yeah try it with blue and it's sort of um, web effect but with metallic mica powders and first I start mixing my black. I use here the pigment paste blackout from Etta Art and I'm pouring this or I put it into my resin. The resin is the ultra cast resin from Etta Art and then I'm just taking this chameleon pigment. It um, appears dark blue, but I suppose it has different shades of blues. First time I'm using this, but see how, stra how strong this um, powder is. So I thought I just mix it into my black and this is gonna be my first color. And I really love this, this darkness um, with the black and the blue. And now my second color is also mica powder. And it's really my last leftover from the white old Spiria. And I hope for once I pronounce it correctly. But anyway, you see, I'm, I'm just using what's all in my jar because there was not too, too much anymore. So this is then my gold color or my my interference gold color and i'm stirring this very well in my cup yeah i also made a little bit of a mess but these two colors the blue and black mix the blue um, chameleon pigment from let's resin and um, the white gold spiria from laura's art corner i always always have to think about it um, these are my only colors I'm using. So now I'm taking my mold and this is the L size cascade tray mold. So it's the very first time I'm using it. I have it for quite a while, but this time it was the moment to use it. So before I start pouring, I just make sure that my mold is really free from dust. And now I'm just pouring a thin layer of clear resin on the bottom of my mold, just that everything is covered. So I'm just um, pushing it a little bit aside. And then I can start pouring my colors and I'm starting with my black mix. But before I just quickly go there with the heat gun, very, very gentle and, and carefully, because I don't want to burn my mold or my resin. And then I just make sure that I get all the bubbles which are maybe trapped at the bottom or at the edges. So just making sure that the whole mold is covered. And then I just take the dotting tool and I'm just seeing that I get rid of the bubbles at the edges. Again, just a little bit my torch. And then I can soon already start pouring my resin. Ha! <laughs> Finally, this is the thing with the voiceovers. So here's my blue-black mix. And I'm just pouring from rather up high around the edges. I try to pour as even as possible. And I think you can see it that I'm really pouring from rather up high. So I'm doing, I guess there were two rounds with my blue mix. I just need to wait and see. I think it were like two, two rounds, yes. And then I'm taking my interference gold. I'm just giving it a quick mix again because you never know with some unleft, um, not mixed powder or whatsoever. And now I'm just pouring the interference gold on top of my black blue mix and then I'm going along the edge 
what you can see of the blue-black mix or black-blue, I don't know. And now I'm just taking my clear resin and I'm filling up my mold till it's rather full. I'm using all the resin I have in my jar. I also scribe it a little bit because I don't want to waste too much resin. But I'm not scribing, scribing that I maybe have um, unmixed resin in my pour. And now I'm just altering the colors on top again because you need to have enough colored pigment so that everything is moving to the center. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just altering my colors, still pouring from rather up high. Now again, the interference gold. And that's what I'm doing till the end, till I have used all my colored resin. So now all my resin is gone, my colored resin, and I'm just quickly taking my heat gun. I just pop some bubbles and I'm also helping the resin a little bit to move towards the center, just gently, very gently. And then I really let the resin do its magic. And now I'm just taking a mix of glass stones, shells, um, yeah, little um, nuggets, I don't know, just a mixture of everything which I still had in my drawer. I just made an um, individual mix for this pour and I'm just placing this into the center. Yeah, and then I thought something was missing, so I went looking back into my drawer and I took the glass bits from Etta Art. Um, there's a champagne color and a golden color and I'm just drizzling them down um, yeah, with my fingers. You will see it in a second. So there's a little bit of gold and silver as well in my pour. So this is my center done and I'm going to show you a little time lapse how the resin was working. I was also helping a little bit more with my heat gun just to, to give it a little bit more of a push. I think you will see it, but it's amazing how resin is just making its patterns, how it's pulling through the center. And I really love watching this. It's such a beautiful process and it's amazing what, yeah, such um, easy pour and only two colors can do already on the pouring side. And I really, really like it. So now this is the close up and this is how it was looking after, oh, I think it was working for one hour and almost 20 minutes, something like this. It was really working a long time. And you can see that it closed to the center, so I'm very happy. And it's just amazing how you have the interference gold and the black-blue mix. So I'm quite curious for the next day. So this is the next day. It's around about 14 hours later. And of course, it's still soft, but I want to make a bowl, so I needed to take it out of the mold. And I'm very curious how this is going to look like. The pouring side is looking very promising, so just look at that. 
And this is only with metal mica and a little bit black pigment paste. I really love this. And this blue from Let's Resin, I really like it. It's very outstanding and uh, yeah, I love the interference gold. But like I said, it's my last um, gold I have. And well, I really like the color combination and it's very beautiful. Yeah, here you see me struggling again, placing my uh, <laughs> my tray into into the bowl. Yeah, I have a little bit of silicone oil in my big bowl, so um, it's easier that you take your bowl later out. But this also means when your bowl is rather, rather hard already, it always slips. But now I'm sorted and I'm quite happy. So, and this is now the final result. I hope you can catch a little bit of the effects, but I'm very, I'm very happy with this. And yeah, I hope you like this video too. And I thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.